Video was a game in itself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the Diego Castillo show. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think when games get there and, and you know, you're trying to save arms playing at 12.30 tomorrow, you end up throwing a position player and sometimes when position players throw it, it becomes a game within itself. I think that's a very good way to put it, Kevin. Shelty, in a game like that, you see the yeah, back from Bly, you see, still, still see guys running hard. What can you gain when you're down big like that late in games? Yeah, I mean, I think it is important. I mean, you see Diego go hard, the, you know, they make an error, we continue to go, and, you know, Bly gets three RBIs because he stays in there. He swings at two sliders and uh, that are, you know, probably balls, gets himself back in account, gets a double. I, I, you know, we've talked about this a lot, but this group continues to play hard. You know, that game got out of hand a little bit today, but uh, our effort level did not. We continue to, to still go after it. I mean, Chang comes in hard to third and gets O'Neill and RBI. You know, I mean, like little things like that are important for us as we move forward, especially in games that, uh, you know, didn't go so well for us early. In the second inning with Ryan Cox, how much of that was a matter of, you know, not executing pitches? How much of it was kind of a matter of maybe some bad breaks or just kind of a combination of both? Well, yeah, I mean, he ended up hitting two guys, uh, which is definitely a bad break, but I think a lot of it was execution. He just left too many balls up and too many balls up in the middle of the plate. And when you leave balls up and in the middle, you know, they're going to get hit, and, and that's what happens. I don't mean to, like, hindsight this too hard because, I, you know, obviously there's a reason to call out Bykoff, but, but was there ever any consideration for, like, a bullpen game where, you know, DeYoung obviously pitched three and a third anyway? Yeah, so. we, I mean, we talked through it, and I, and I think depending on where we're at, I mean, the fact that we, we're playing here, then we go to Tampa, and then, yeah. and then we go to Washington. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, we're creative yeah. in, in any way. We just we, we thought in this situation it was best to probably call up a fresh arm. Yeah, and then, you know, Ben's talked a ton about how, like, no matter what the, the big league roster looks like, it's always a, a fight to keep adding depth, keep adding yeah. depth. Is this sort of an example that, like, you know, Thompson goes down, there's not, like, an obvious guy who's, like, right there ready. Is that an example of, like, you know, you have to continue developing and further build? Yeah, yeah I, I think it is that. We, have to, we do have to continue to develop. Uh, you know, I mean, we're in a situation right now where, you know, losing Kranich, hurts in, yeah. in this situation because of the fact that, that, that he's not available. So we're going to have to continue to build depth, whether it's externally or internally with a group of you know, group, group of pitchers. And I think we do feel like we have some guys coming, just probably not ready you know, yeah. to impact our major league club right now. But yeah, I mean, I think we need to, especially starting pitching, you can never have enough depth. Mm -hmm. And then when you know you lose Thompson, you lose Kranich, you know, you hurry still building up. So, you know, things like that. Was there, was there any consideration um, to pull uh, Brian a little earlier? And it, I'm assuming everything's okay with him. It was yeah, he, he was fine. And actually, the, the reason I let him hit in the six is because he had a single and a triple. Very honestly, like, he had a single and a triple. And I'm like, hell, if he hits a double here, like, we may see something special. Yeah. So I was going to give him that third at bat because of that. That that was kind of what I was thinking then. But then as soon as that happened, we were able to get him out. When you're in the span of 17 games in a row, how big was the young to make give you that life? Huge. I mean, you know, that, that saved our that saved our butts tonight. The fact that I mean he went out and I think he got, got through the first two thirds of an inning and four pitches and then was able to throw forty two. And Chase has done a really good job. I mean, I think you know, we saw him come in the game in LA and pitch in eight days and get, you know, the the two turners out right back to back. And I, I think the thing you can say about him is he's always prepared, he's professional, and he's able to execute pitches. But yeah, he saved us tonight. And he was efficient, which is important for us as we move forward, because we're gonna need him to pitch again probably at some point. And the fact he only threw 42, what was really good. Well, speaking of Brian, was it, and I guess, forgive me, but was it last night or two nights ago that Key got pulled early? They both got pulled early two nights ago. Okay, okay. They, both, they, yeah, they both came I, I couldn't remember, if it was last night, I was gonna say, he's okay. No, he yeah, yeah, he's out. fine, no, he's fine there, yeah. The other night we pulled both of them out. Okay. Uh, and I was happier because that game was the other way. Yeah, so right. It's so. better to do it that way. What key was it just the, that day? Yeah, it was just a day off. I mean, we're getting left-hander, left-hander, right-hander, left-hander. So, you know, and had to pick a day, and it was either going to be one of the days, either it's going to be today or one of the days on the turf, but the fact that we're getting the the three left-handers in the next four were to make sure he was available. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay.